Hello, welcome to CirclePad. Today we're going to take a quick look at making glow effects for your web page in CirclePad. So to get started, we've got a new page here. And the first thing we're going to do is make the color of the page black. So we click on background color and set the color of our page to black. And then we're going to load in a photo under Get Stuff Photos. And we're going to load in uh, one of these uh, mirrored balls. That's the sample photo that CirclePad comes with. Then we're going to crop our photo. So we click on uh, New Shapes. And we're going to crop it with a circle. So then we've got this little circle shape that we can place over top of our circle. Make it a little bigger. Make it a little wider. OK, good enough. Now we've, But the only problem is we've got this red line around our disco ball or our mirrored ball here that we don't want. So let's click on Color. And under Color, we can say there's no line color. And that'll get rid of that. So now we've got our uh, photo, we want to make it glow. So I just click on Edit Object, and there's all kinds of effects here. Drop Shadow Blur, the latest one to come in is Glow. So now you can take this object and you can say, okay, how strong is the glow? How blurry is the glow? Uh, what color would you like it to be? We're going to make a kind of a, a light blue glow on the, for this case. And how bright is that? So you could have a white page with a black glow, for example, things like that. And we're going to make the strength a little bit less. OK, so that's looking pretty good. And it, the glow is cool. No matter what you do with your object, it'll maintain that, uh, that glow effect. You can also do the glow on text. So if we get some new text, and I'm going to set the color to white here. And I'm going to get uh, change the font as well under uh, Edit Text. I'm going to go for a space font. OK, and we're going to call this thing uh, the event. Let's say we're making an ev event website for this. OK, so then I can pull this up. And uh, instead of a static glow, like a still glow, we want to make one that's animated. So let's click on Animation. And there's an effect here for pulsing glow. So it's almost exactly the same as the other glow, except there's all the same different options. You can see I've got color, brightness. So again, I'm going to change the color to blue, maybe a darker blue on this one, and the blur and the strength. But this one, we can also control the speed. So here it's pulsing really quickly. Now it's pulsing very slowly. The other cool thing that we can do with, um, with glows is that we can hook up mouse overs and make a little menu where the glow highlights as we make the mouse over. So let's make some new text. And this is going to be some detail about our event. And let's say edit text. We'll make it a little bigger. And we'll change the font to comics and the color to white. OK, so then when we go to create a, a mouse over for this object, we can just click on animation, create mouse over. I can pick the bottom. This is what it'll look like normally. This is what it'll look like with a mouse over. I can do the same thing. I can click animation pulsing glow and just hit OK and then there's no it's not glowing but then when your mouse goes over it, it's glowing so if I select this object I can get a little menu here and have a few of these and then when your mouse goes over it it glows so there's all kinds of control in circle pad for uh, making making interesting glow effects so I hope you enjoyed this demo, and please visit us at www.circlepad.com for more details.